Hi, I'm Aaron from ChargePoint, and I'm going to show you our newest residential charging station, ChargePoint Home Flex. It's got more power, great features, and is the smartest way to charge your EV at home. ChargePoint Home Flex works with any electric vehicle on the road today and charges your car up to nine times faster than plugging into a regular wall outlet. And one of the best things about it is that the amperage is adjustable. So you can set it at the speed you need from 16 amps all the way up to 50 amps. And that's great for two main reasons. The first reason is it can save you money on the cost of your installation. For some older houses, it can be expensive to upgrade the wiring to handle a higher amperage station. If you aren't ready to upgrade your wiring, you can just set ChargePoint Home Flex at the amperage your house can handle today. The second main reason is that it future-proofs your purchase, so you never need to buy a new charging station. Car batteries are getting bigger and bigger, and you may only need 32 amps today, but you might need more in the future. Well, you don't need to buy a new charging station, you can just turn up the amperage on ChargePoint Home Flex. Regardless, it's important you buy a charging station you know is safe. ChargePoint Home Flex is certified for electrical safety with a UL listing, and it comes with a three-year warranty. Plus, you can always contact our support team 24-7 if you ever have any questions. It's also ENERGY STAR certified, which means it uses 40% less energy than other charging stations when it's not in use. With Home Flex and the ChargePoint app, drivers are able to track all of their home and public charging in one place. Since ChargePoint is the world's leading EV charging network with over 60,000 charging spots today, many people are charging with ChargePoint at work and around town. With the ChargePoint app, you can schedule reminders so you never forget to plug in. And you can schedule charging for when electricity is cheapest. We can even help you find the best time to charge. If you tell us who your energy provider is, we'll automatically tell you what time you should start charging. Just plug in when you get home and schedule Home Flex to start charging your car when the rates drop. ChargePoint Home Flex also fits into your smart home and works with Amazon Alexa. Alexa, ask ChargePoint how many miles I've added. 53.37 miles have been added in this charging session so far. If you're interested in learning more or would like to purchase ChargePoint Home Flex, just check out chargepoint.com. This training will review the installation procedure to mount and wire the Tesla Generation 3 wall connector. The wall connector facilitates residential charging of an electric vehicle, or EV. Please review the entire installation guide prior to installing the wall connector. Tools and materials. Installation of the wall connector requires these standard electrician's hand and power tools. When unboxing the wall connector, confirm these components. Wall connector unit, wire box, wire box mounting template, quick start guide, which provides SSID and WPA2 details, a four millimeter hex bit, four wall connector to wire box fasteners, two wire box to wall fasteners, and a zip tie. Note, some components are packed inside the wall connector. Remove the wire box from the body of the unit to access these. Planning the installation. Determine the parking location of the vehicle to ensure the charge cable reaches the charge port. The maximum height of the wall connector is 60 inches. The minimum heights are 18 inches indoors and 24 inches outdoors. The recommended height is between 45 to 48 inches, chest height for ease of use. Also, consider the type of conduit run since it will determine the installation method to follow. Conduit may enter the unit through the top, bottom, rear left, or rear right entry port. The default conduit size is 3 quarters of an inch. If using the top or bottom entry ports, remove the respective plug. If using the rear entry ports, drill a 1 and 1 8 inch opening and prepare the wire box for fittings. 1 inch conduit may be used on the bottom or rear entry ports. If using 1 inch conduit, drill a 1 and 3 8 inch opening to prepare the wire box for fittings. Note that the top entry cannot be expanded. Only use 3 quarter inch conduit for the top entry. Preparing the wall connector. 
With the wire box prepared for fittings, find a stud to mount to. Measure and mark the height of the wall connector. Once you've determined this location, use the included mounting template to determine fastener locations. For top or bottom entry installations, center the unit on the stud. For rear left or rear right installations, offset the unit to allow for conduit entry. Use a torpedo level while marking one hole from the top row and one hole from the bottom row. Drill pilot holes into the wooden stud with a 5-32nd inch bit. Next, drill matching pilot holes into the wire box with a quarter inch bit. Attach the wire box to the wooden stud using the included 4mm hex bit and two wood fastener screws. Wiring. Install conduit and the appropriate fittings into the wire box. Pull conductors into the wire box. For top entry, the conductors will be routed to the bottom side of the unit landed on the bottom side of the terminal blocks. For bottom, rear left, or rear right, the conductors will be routed to the top side of the unit and landed on the top side of the terminal blocks. Use the service loop channel on the right side of the unit. Strip half an inch of insulation from each of the conductors. Land the EGC on the ground terminal and then land the L1 and L2 conductors in the correct terminals. Torque the conductors to 50 inch pounds. Secure the conductors to the service channel using the included zip tie. Finishing the wall connector installation. Attach the wall connector to the wire box. Secure it with the four included fasteners. Neatly wrap excess cord around the housing, counterclockwise, and secure the handle in the side dock. In the next video, we will cover commissioning the wall connector. Hello everybody, my name is Vladimir Kiforov. I am President and CEO of United Chargers, the company that makes electric vehicle charging stations, uh, like this one, Grizzly, we're going to talk about it later. But right now, today I'm going to uh, show you our new product, which is Easy EV Plug. I am electric vehicle enthusiast myself. I drive electric vehicles since 2013. I am as well member of the Board of Electric Mobility Canada, so I know a little bit about charging infrastructure and electric vehicles. That's why I created the new product, which is called Easy EV Plug. And the main idea of this uh, new plug is to make it very easy for the owner to plug in the uh, cord after the charging is complete without need to aim. This is number one uh, feature of this new plug. And one of the most annoying parts of charging electric vehicle is actually putting the holster back to the holder once the charger is complete. You really need to aim, like you see here, to locate the charger and, and the holster and put it in place. Easy EV plug comes with a cable management system. As you can see here, you can place your cable on top of the holder and that will uh, hold the cable together. Plugs come in two colors, in uh, white and black, and you don't need to aim in order to lock it in. Another unique feature of our Easy EV plug is that you can use a lock to uh, lock your holster in order to prevent unauthorized access to your charger. This is how you lock your holster. So you use the lock like this, insert it through those two holes on top of the charger, put your lock back in, lock it in place, it's secured, close the lid, and here you go. Your holster is locked. Thank you very much for listening about our new product, Easy EV Plug. Please visit our website for this product, which is called easyvplug.com. Thank you very much and see you soon. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.